Hi Capricorn, welcome to your September Twin Flame Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, if you believe that you are on a Twin Flame journey and a Twin Flame connection, we are going to be looking at the feminine and masculine energies at this time, their current energies, what they're feeling, viewing, thinking about each other at this time, any obstacles or challenges they may have, and any outer influences. So welcome in, welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female general collective reading so please only take it how it resonates for you including the signs mentioned now Cap uh, capricorn i will be putting feminine on this side and the masculine on that side it's up to you to distinguish which side you fall under you can just choose what side resonates for you or if you know for a fact you are the feminine or masculine you can be male be feminine you can be female be masculine so it's totally up to you. But as a reader for me, I'm just going to call this the feminine and that the masculine. All right. Capricorn, if this does resonate for you, Capricorn, there will be an extended reading. And you can find the links, everything you need to know about that, be in my channel down below in the description box. Lots of stuff down there. Feel free to check that out. Cards over here are for your extended. Also, I'll show you those a little bit later. As well as I will also tell you more about the extended and we're using two separate tarot decks so we'll see if we have any repeating energies between the two of them or mirroring energies at this time so Capricorn let's see what the feminine has so we have expectancy so I don't know here for some the feminine could be expecting actually expecting or she definitely is expecting something expecting a turn of events something to happen between the two of them and we have traveling lightly simplify your life so i feel like here <laughs> it's almost the feminine is getting ready for the masculine to come into her life so she's declaring away things no longer serving her you know physically mentally um in all forms you know clearing the clutter out of the house getting rid of things that she's been attached to it could be clothes it could be just artifacts it could be anything clearing away all the energy, traveling her energy, her tra traveling her space and her energy. Did I just say traveling? I meant lightening her energy <laughs> in her space so that when it's time to go on this journey, when she's expecting it to go on this journey and she, she would have lightened her load and cleared away all those energies for when it comes in. So she's like getting ready here. She is doing the work necessary, clearing away the clutter. All right, so the masculine here has transmutation and vast vistas, expand your horizons. So, and we do have all this enlightening energy here. So it's like his, his energy is transmuting. He's exploring, expanding um his horizons his knowledge his faith his spirituality um exploring he could be connecting with source with mother nature the outdoors he could be um i don't know why i just got peter pan but whatever that means but um he could be someone that really really loves the outdoors connects deeply with the outdoors and this is helping to transmute his energy from understanding this connection more i always feel like i almost feel like here he's getting filled with passion fire ignition like it's igniting the energy is igniting now and the feminine can feel it and she's getting her energy ready to go on this journey when it happens and he's looking out into the horizons and he's like also looking at the horizons like planning in a way and it could be subconsciously they're both looking out, although they're not facing each other, but both looking out into the distance, planning, waiting, knowing when we come together and we face each other, the path is free and clear. Wow. All right. Let's see here. So they're doing their own thing right now. He's transmuting his energy. He's exploring deep. 
into his roots, his life, who he is, what he wants, the future, the connection, what this means. It's igniting the, the energy here. And she's expecting it and she is getting ready for this to happen. Clearing her energy. Getting ready to go on the journey when it comes in. Wow. All right. Um, some may be expecting now that I, you know, I, I, I'm not really feeling that now, but my first initial response was, oh, somebody's like, so for some, could be one person, could be expecting. All right. Let's see here. Let's look at the feminine. What is her current energies at this time for the feminine? Seven of Cups. So that could be dreaming, could be dreaming of life with her masculine, looking at every scenario, looking at every option, looking at every thing she would like to experience moving forward with her masculine, Knight of Pentacles. So this is Taurus, but this is Cap this could be you Capricorn. Things are moving very, very slow, but I feel like in this energy, you're fantasizing, you're drawing them in, law of attraction, um, really visualizing, um, all the scenarios that you would like to experience with your masculine. Again, Four of Swords, you could be meditating. This could be praying, thinking, healing, um, meditating, contemplating. Definitely like meditating and thinking of everything you would like to experience in this journey with your masculine. Ten of Swords. Hmm. It could be about endings though. Knight of Wands, fiery passion energy, go get her energy, Sagittarius energy, Hermit. Again, lighting the pathway. I feel like you could be lighting a pathway for the masculine to come in. You, you know, you could have experienced a lot in life, a lot of pain, a lot of things that you've gone through, but you've done a lot of healing work here with the sun. So you could have experienced, you know, an ending in the past. Could have been 10 months ago, 9, 10 months ago, maybe even for some two years ago, but I feel like now you're ready, you're in a good space now, and you're ready for this. Wow, all right. So, okay, I didn't ask yet. How is she feeling, viewing, thinking? That's kind of what I see there, but I also feel like um, it could also be that energy with your masculine, but if you've been trying to... Uh, move forward in life and some other aspects it could be your career you know material money you know things have been very very slow moving for you but you're trying to manifest it in all right there could be a lot expected of you at this time also oh my goodness all right let me do that over let me ask again so learn okay <laughs> What is the feminine feeling, thinking, viewing about the fem masculine in this connection? Knight of Cups. She would like to see forward movement in love. Scorpio energy here. So I definitely feel like you know this is coming. Like you're expecting this to happen. That, you know, he's going to come in on his horse or for his cup. And we'll take this journey together. Yeah. The fool goes on a new journey. Resetting energies back to zero. zero jumping in. Leap of faith. Trusting everything will be fine. For a new beginning here. Aquarius energy. So you're hoping for him to take that leap of faith to come in or for his cup. So this can finally move forward. You want, would love to be, this could be you Capricorn, stable, grounded, loyal, trustworthy partner to your masculine. You're very uh, pre-empress. Stable, grounded, secure, trustworthy. Again, you know it's fate, it's destiny, it's going to happen, it's meant to be all about divine timing going better going in the right direction so that could be uh, Sagittarius Leo Aquarius Taurus Scorpio yeah judgment here universal law and order something meant to be past lives together final decision waiting on the masculine's decision but I feel like the flame has been ignited here all right so let's see any obstacles or challenges for the feminine. Obstacles, challenges for the feminine. 
Queen of Wands, Aries energy. So that could be, you know, leveling up into maybe owning her own career, owning her own business, being an entrepreneur, following her creativity, her inspiration, her spirituality, um, creative endeavors, projects. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, happiness and joy. What is that about? So definitely like this Nine of Cups is looking at the Queen of Wands as like, wow, that would be, you could be um, really admiring somebody right now. Capricorn, mother or male or female, does it matter? Who's very, very successful, who could own their own business, be an entrepreneur or something like that. And you're like, wow, I would really, really be able to do what they have done. Yeah, to make that choice, to follow my heart, my body and soul and make that conscious right choice for me. To follow my soul, my path, my alignment. To do what I love. Gemini energy. Maybe you want to own a business with your twin. Who knows? But we have Sagittarius here with the uh, temperance, peace, harmony, balance, patience, healing, past lives, divine alchemy at play here, trying to bring two soulmates together at the exact right time. Judgment here. So there has to be some sort of seed planted here for a new beginning. Could be about moving, traveling, distance. Moving in a whole new direction, making a judgment call here. Huh. So if you've been thinking about, you know, following in somebody's footsteps or really admiring somebody who has done what you would like to do, I think it's time to make that choice to start moving in the right direction to plant that seed. Follow it with faith. Otherwise, you know, a lot of sabotaging energy here. Five of swords, five of cups. Yeah, here's that seed, taking that seed and planting it into some sort of fresh new idea, which will bring in the Ace of Cups universe is like, okay, Capricorn has shown they're ready. They're stepping into their divine feminine energy, what they're meant to do here on this planet at this time. Let's bring forward now this brand new beginning in love. Wow. Three of Pentacles is about building a new foundation. So however that means for you, it could be a new career, it could be a business, it could be anything. Some sort of new energy here, new path. So that's the big um, obstacle challenge right now is for the feminine to follow her fire, her passion. Nine of Wands is about not giving up. So let's see, outer influences. Is there anything else we need to know for the feminine outer influences? Queen of Cups. Cancer energy. This could be a parental figure or a sibling or a close friend. What else? What is that about? Wheel of Fortune. Something faded, destined, that is meant to happen at this time, though it may not feel like it. Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Three of Cups. So you could have a reuniting here, maybe with a long lost uh, friend co-worker maybe a relative you haven't seen in ages kind of brings in peace renewal happiness joy enlightenment again something you don't see coming here pisces with the moon hmm. i see communication something maybe you've been waiting for maybe a family member a friend or something to come back and all of a sudden they come back so you could be you could be spending a lot of time with this person. Maybe um, maybe they're relocating, they're moving, and maybe you're helping them settle in, like re, you know, settle down, reinvest into new energy here. Wow. All right. But we, again, the brain will be getting in love here. Peace, harmony, bliss, fulfillment, love and emotions overflowing all the way around here. All right, so let's look at masculine energy masculine energy masculine energy could it, you know it could be a long lost friend comes back it's relocating you know has to replant you know themselves somewhere and you're like helping them like move in settle down maybe helping them find a job it's taking a lot of your time all right. 
So let's see the masculine here, what his, um, what his current energies are. So the Page of Cups and the King of Swords, Gemini energy. I feel like this Page of Cups is him getting downloads, messages, uh, energy from the universe here. And now he's starting to really see things clearly. We have Gemini energy here. He's receiving the messages and he's seeing a total uh, mental clarity. His heart is opening. Things are definitely transmuting for him. The Emperor. Wow. Aries energy. Stepping into his divine masculine energy. Having that clarity. You know, we do have fire energy here, which is twin flame energy. So he's broadening his horizon, stepping into divine masculine energy. He could have been holding back from this for a very long time. Maybe even in denial, protecting himself, not wanting to, you know understand it face it but now tower moment here aries awakening epiphany aha moment sudden shock upheaval surprise awakening he is single and stable wow so <laughs> emperor yeah masculine here has gone through a big awakening rising up and realizing wow this does feel, it, it looks, it acts, it feels like a twin flame, and he's broadening his horizons. All right, so let's see here what he's viewing, thinking, feeling about the feminine in this connection. Six of swords, so either wanting to move towards her, travel towards her, moving in the right direction, leaving all past negativity, ways of thinking behind, wants to move into peace, harmony. Seven of Pentacles, it's been a long time here. He's been investing in himself very, very slowly, but he's about here. Again, traveling distance, closing out cycles in his life, ready to start new cycles. Taurus, uh, we have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio with the world energy. This is like changing his whole, whole world. His whole world is changing because of realizing what this is. Ten of Wands. So he's laying down burdens and no longer serving him. Getting ready to go on a new journey and rising up here. The wheel. Because it's fate. It's destiny. Divine timing. Something meant to be. Getting better. Going in the right direction. Movement here. Fate. Destiny. Sagittarius. Leo. Aquarius. Taurus. Scorpio. Again. I feel like he's moving away from conflict. The Tower and Death. Again. Nine of Pentacles. Temperance. Yeah, he's going through a big, big transformation, transmutation, transcendence. Um, spark the <laughs> has ignited of the twin flame energy in, inside him that's been dormant. Wow, masculine. All right, so let's see here. Obstacles or challenges for the masculine. Obstacles or challenges for the masculine. The moon, well, there's the feminine and judgment. So it could be making a decision or judgment call it regarding the feminine. You know, he's having some fear, not seeing the path clearly. Maybe he's not really, he could be understanding, okay, this is a twin flame connection. I'm understanding it now. I'm learning. I'm trying to understand, but he could be having a hard time here making clear discernments surrounding his intuition. Um, let's see what else here. Or it could be that something, um, okay, I don't like how those fell out. I just want one more. It could be something that you don't see coming. Also that he needs to make a quick decision about. Gemini, Virgo energy here with the magician, new beginning, manifesting a new beginning here. So it's either here that, um, king of wands. So this is entrepreneurship energy. And she has the queen of wands. So we have a matching couple, divine counterparts. Again, he almost has the same kind of energy where he has a chance to be an entrepreneur, uh, rise up, level up into, you know, creativity, endeavors, projects, ideas, spirituality, creativity. You know, being a business owner, entrepreneur, CEO, president, vice president, 
almost like the same energy of the feminine. Will he manifest this new beginning? Something may happen out of the blue here with the moon. He don't see coming. Will he trust his intuition and make a judgment call about this? Again, juggling around, hangman, not sure, eight of wands, something happening quickly, coming in towards him. Six of pentacles, which will really balance out his energy. Will he take action or be stressed about it? Oh, and also towards the feminine. So he, his obstacle here is for him to trust his intuition, make that clear cut decision to manifest these new beginnings that he wants and not to stress about it or fear it or juggle it around too much or be in limbo for too long because uh, somebody else may came, come in and swoop some other opportunity away from him. I don't feel like it's the feminine. I think it's revolving something else. So let's see here. Outer influences. Outer, oh boy. Outer influences for the masculine strength. Leo energy here. So very strong energy. He's going to have to be strong about something here. Strong, courageous, and brave. Or he's going to need to have to hold back from something coming his way. Eight of Cups. So he's going to have to be strong. Some outer influence. So something is going to happen here where he's going to have to be strong enough to walk away from something. Turn his back and not get involved. Death. So Scorpio energy there, Four of Cups, the Fool. Somebody may come in and try to offer him some sort of love offer. Could be something that ended in the past. So it could be ex coming back, you know, trying to make a solid offer. Could be someone that he actually divorced with the, with the uh, Justice card here. Four of Cups, he's not interested. You know, trust, trusting his intuition, no communication. So he may actually could be a lot of heartache and pain associated around whatever this is uh he's not interested at all so he may stop communication like cut this person out of his life for good um something that was definitely over he's walking he feels strongly about this energy he's overcome it he's moved on all of a sudden it comes back he's not interested at all so he may be in the process of um, trying to get this person out of his life for good. I mean, it could be an ex. It could be anybody that betrayed him, caused him a lot of heartache and pain, and made, made him feel stuck. Because you see, this person is also kind of stuck, wedged between um, the cliffs there. Interesting. All right, so let's see what these are for the extended. So if you are interested in the extended, if this did resonate, please do give it a like, leave me a comment, let me know how it resonated for you. And if you are interested in the extended, links are below. In the extended, we will look at what they're both wanting and hoping for in the connection, how they're learning and ascending in the journey through this connection. Divine intervention for the two of them, especially the one watching, whatever side you resonate with, so you know what to watch out for, how you can work with and through the energy, why it's happening. And then we'll get future energies between the two of them, uh, love messages here between the two of them. So let's see what we have here for the feminine. We have blessings. We have fellow travelers. And look, traveling lightly, fellow travelers. For the masculine, we have embrace. And we have rejuvenating rain. Wow. All right. And look, it says clear the past. Did I not just say that? Wow. All right. Capricorn. So if you're interested in the extended, I shall see you over there. If not, best of luck to you. Sending you many, many light, love, and blessings. And I shall see you next time.